Oh. The Satan, no, Satan, he comes to the people and he tries to cause doubts about God and everything. Now, when he sees, uh, one of the questions he asks, uh, that gets in the mind of people is, who created Allah? Who created God? I'm going to count this, so you do a minute if you don't mind, so, because I'll forget all my uh, questions. Well, yeah, but I'm on the, my memory is not all well, there I'm as well. I'm just going to throw it out there then, that um, Allah said, uh, doubt is a sin for Christianity, and I remember Allah saying if, you, if mankind didn't sin, he would wipe them out. So That's correct. So Iblis is fulfilling a function, as it were, like a saving grace, for no. of a much better term. No, I'm saying he's... Uh, he's because we sin. introducing doubt, he's causing mankind to sin and therefore like negating the need to be wiped out utterly. No, it's not. Because we, we create sin without Satan's influence as well. You don't have the Christian view of the, uh, the curse, do you? No, we don't. So why do you sin? So it's a choice then. It's a choice. It's simply a choice. So yes, we have the influence so of... babies go to Jannah? They do. But didn't Muhammad say that one of it may? I feel like Aisha asked him about a baby, and he said not necessarily. I guess in a in a nutshell or paraphrasing. No, what do you call it? It's very clear in Islam. It'll come up on the screen of that, my camera. I know that's fine. That it? It's very clear in Islam that uh, children up to up to the age of puberty, they are not held accountable. So if they yeah, die. It's very clear when Muhammad said literally otherwise. He was talking about an individual case. Fair enough. It was, I feel like it was maybe a miscarriage. I may be wrong about that. I'm not sure about the case you're referring to. Paradise's reference, if anyone wants to. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure it. about the reference. Yeah. So if you have the reference, we can discuss it, but not today, please. Yeah. No. Okay. You're on my page. Yeah. Don't all right. <laughs> um, Back to Jan. Uh, sin is a choice. So sin is a choice, right? At the end of the day, look, it's very clear in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about to Iblis, because Iblis and uh, and Allah have this conversation, right? And, Iblis, and Allah is very clear. He says to Iblis that you will have no power over my righteous service. So the people who choose to obey Allah, Satan has no control or authority over them. And now my question would be, if Allah says, and he does, when I say if it's a rhetoric, if he says, when he says, I guide who I guide, and I misguide who I misguide, yes. and who are you to guide who I misguided, or will misguide, or whatever yeah. the phrase is. So, yeah, and whoever, oh, yeah, I was going to say the phrase. That to choose to sin is no. preempted, but, but, but if he's guided you righteously, and you are one of the righteous that you mentioned, that implies that you're, if, if sin is the deal breaker, Why does he go, which I don't no, know if it is. But the question is not that. It isn't, because he takes it off of Muslims and puts it off of Christians of judgment. No, he doesn't. Why do this you, is a, are you not a Sunni? I am a Sunni, but I know these hadith, right? But so, say okay, that. so in fact, like no, no, the hadith says this, oh, right? As a ransom, it, it actually uses it. the word ransom, right? Yeah, but the redeeming. but in it's Fath al so it's explained in Fath al Bari, right? Which is the exegesis. So, but I'd rather take Allah's word, as it were, than this, No, no, no. This, okay. Bukhari. It's not Bukhari, right? Sorry, sorry I only heard it and it's right. Poland and I'm all... So, the book is, uh, the, 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 the collection is called Fath al-Bari. No, Fath al-Bari explains, it's a commentary of the hadith. Now, we have to bear in mind, and this is what I say to Christians often, you can read a hadith at face value. But what if I can find but, a, a commentary? Because I know that the fact that you you've referenced, but when you've referenced one, it, to my mind, it, it, I assume that there are others that don't say what that one says. Not, Similar to okay. 65, four, there are variously slightly different interpretations. Yes, I agree there are different interpretations of different things. But the point is, Fath al-Bari is the most authoritative uh, works on explaining Sahih Bukhari. Okay? Oh, oh Bukhari, I Right, guess. so he explains Sahih Bukhari and the hadith is found in Bukhari. Okay. So if there's so oftentimes Islam and Bukhari have like a, not duplicates but very similar. Well, there are duplicate no, reports. So yeah. I'm so saying, so yeah. if there are commentaries on. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, Islam, then see now what happens is because I have many of these books at home. I bet you do. I so I, I haven't got too many. Too many. Well, too I'm actually I've, yeah. I've still got a long I've list of things. Yeah. yeah. So and I've cross-referenced these things. And they say pretty much the same thing, it's right? And, and it, it's like a date, but it's like, like no, no, it's oh god. Share the link around because you. I have actually started. I've started. I have actually started a Discord channel for for people to be able to document this stuff. But I haven't paid attention to it because got, of my life. Then you've got to check if their stuff is safe. Oh, I know. That's why. Your own stuff in and I agree, but that's why I haven't paid it too much attention because I'm so busy. When I have time. It's not. I mean, but it it's a, but so it's a good place. I know, I know. But anyway, the point here is that that hadith is not saying what you think it says, right? right? The ransom is a, it's language. It's a use of language. The ransom is not an actual language. But right? when it says 
So, so as what? a mountain takes it off and puts it on too. So the mountain is essentially. No, so in in the Arabic language, to the phrase of lifting a mountain off someone's shoulder is to lift a burden. Sure. Right. Where's he put the burden? Jews no, but the thing is, why is that putting on the Jews and the on, on the thing? It's not. No, it's because see. So when it comes to so this hadith actually falls within the category of qada and qadr, right? The sixth pillar of iman. The sixth pillar of iman. No, it's not. The, the reason the reason people think it's uh, it's complicated is because they because they talk to Muslims who defended as opposed to like explaining. I agree. I don't like the defensive approach, right? I don't even like the attacking. To be honest, I'm trying to move away from speaking about the Bible. Uh, no, even here, I don't talk to people about the Bible about much, much. Because I'm here to call to Islam. Respect, that's what I find dismaying, that when I want to talk biblical, it's always... It, it depends on what... The, I would, I look, the I, I, I speak to people based on what they want to speak to. If you want to speak to me about that's the Bible, that's fine. But, yeah, but, and, but if people want to speak to me about Islam, I'm more than happy to speak about Islam. Next week, yeah. 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 If I'm here, if I'm here, if I'm here, <laughs> I'm not guaranteed. So this falls under the category of qada and qadr. Now there are other hadith that explain this hadith. All right? Going back slightly to guide who I guide and Okay, so what happens is, so Allah has made it very clear that the people, it's in the Quran as well, right? While he says, I guide who I will and I misguide. And then he says, who are you to guide who I misguide? No, no, so he says, so he says, uh, who are you to I don't no, Allah guides who he wills and whoever he uh, guides, no one can misguide. And whoever he misguides, no one can guide. Then I'm looking, so essentially that he's... Over a hadith or a different uh, verse. It says, it's not a who verse. Are you, in brackets, someone, I can't remember. That may be a... No, I don't think it says like that. Who are it's you, but... It's talking to Mohammed. It's talking to... To me. mankind. To yeah. mankind. No, to oh, mankind. No, because why would... Oh, to yeah, mankind. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah, you're right. So, but the reason... What is the reason he chooses to guide certain people and misguide certain people. That's the question that people have to ask. Right. Keep me up at night if I was a so, Muslim. well, I've researched it. It's because people choose it for themselves. So if a person, no, no, no. yes. If I guide you, I guided no. you. No, no, no. No, so what happens is, no, so what happens is, like the Quran is a tool for guidance and misguidance. Sure, but we're talking right. about Allah. No, but this is what Allah uses it through. So some people, read the Qur'an and they receive guidance from it. But some people read the same Qur'an and they get misguided. But why? But okay. that implies that without their uh, intervention at this stage, no, so a lot of they are just misguided. No, no, no. So what happens is some people read the Qur'an in order because they don't want to believe in it. So they try to find fault in it. But Allah doesn't mention any of this. No, no. It, it doesn't say those with a wicked See, the heart thing or is, something like it that does. come to it. No, he no, does. Mean, within that framework that we just quoted, yes. he's saying, I guide and okay, I so misguide. Okay, so actually, already, no, 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 no. so actually, in, in the second chapter of the Quran, in Surah Al-Baqarah, right, in the sixth verse onwards, right, and actually quite throughout the, the second chapter, he actually talks about the people who choose misguidance for no, themselves. That's fair enough. No, choose, no, but then what does he say? They choose for Allah to misguide them? No, no, they choose, no, they choose for, the, for themselves. Misguidance, oh, yeah, it's a choice. Sorry, right? Okay. So it's a choice. So they choose for themselves misguidance. So what does Allah do? He goes along with it. He goes along with it. But right? the ones that other than those people. No, that's who, that's with that's that. That is the totality of it. It is literally that simple. It is literally that simple. So. But then you wouldn't have to research if it's literally that simple. No, the research doesn't doesn't necessitate uh, something to be complicated. Research merely means to bring out yeah, all the different sources. If you just go, oh yeah, it's it's not really research, it's just having a little Joe Rogan No, because like, you still need to research the Quran. You still need to be able to... No, but no, but even that, how did the scholars come to explain such a simple thing? Is because they, they, they researched the Quran, they pondered upon it, they extracted the relevant verses and to create a, a cohesive picture for the people who don't do that. At, at its core, I think it just came up in my mind that yeah. given what you've said about some people choose to be misguided, or misguide themselves or yes. other, how do we know, and I, this is a rhetorical, that those aren't the, some of the ones who have given the commentaries on the, If human beings, if it's a, like Alan knows and you question. know, how, what, what I'm asking is, church fathers aside, yay. No, no, with regards so to the Muslim with, with my, with my uh, tradition, yeah. my, uh, like theology, church fathers, yes. If, if I, with my human intellect and God, like illuminate for me, if I can't fit what they're saying in with the Bible, the Bible must prevail. I don't want to go into what the Bible says and the whole thing with the Quran. But with the Quran, look, 
Yes. He might be as flawed as the no. man who got it wrong in the first no, but the thing, place. No, but, the, but this is the thing. This is why we actually have crit criticisms, right? Uh, so, we're, yes? Yeah, they keep their heads, these guys, for huh? a hot minute afterwards. No, there are, there are. Like, for example, one of the medieval scholars, Ibn al-Arabi, he's known to be a disbeliever. Even though he's... Constructive criticism, and some people are even called outright as disbelievers. And these are people that have produced the Islamic works. And their stuff is still in the cat, not cat, but in the it's still in circulation, the but it's documented as something not to be taken seriously. So, so when they call him being contentious, but when they say he's not to be trusted, or this, they, I actually, I actually made a, a, a detailed response. Right to the to the aspect of uh, the reliability of us. To the person who said that, not me, the Muslim scholar who. Well, he wasn't actually. It wasn't it? actually a scholar. So. Well, it was some cases out of shock. No, it was. Uh, what's his name? Uh, it was. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, this is no. This is years ago. That's what I'm saying. It's, but um. It's, it's the test of time. Has... No, some guy that he his Muslim name was Yusuf or Ismail. No, it was Ismail. His Muslim name meaning he was a convert. Yeah, he was. He, yeah, he he reverted to Islam, then he left Islam, and this was one of his criticisms. That's how I came across it, and I did a detailed refutation. It was actually on Twitter, but then I did, made a detailed refutation elsewhere. But that's uh, on my own. Just as a frippery, really. Yeah. Not to okay. Up, so half. So I just want to say, if everyone reverts. That means that everyone else is an apostate. No, right? no. You're born a Muslim, mate. You're born a Muslim. And I'm not one now. Yeah. It doesn't happy. make you an apostate. Oh, just double check. So, it's, so, what would what we mean by born Muslim is that you're born with that natural yeah, inclination. No, okay, fine. But to right. To revert to something means you already were that thing. Muslim is a it's a, a sufficient. Yeah, well, this is what. Is a decision. Yeah, but this is why there's a there's a discussion among the Muslims about whether revert is the right word yeah, to use. I hope there you is. know, yeah. there, there is. Okay. Uh, me, I don't mind either way. Yeah. They're all Muslim at the end of the day, alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I don't oh, care. Yeah. You know, so... So go wrap up because... I yeah, so you know, regarding Hafs. So just quickly, regarding Hafs. Hafs' uh, reliability with regards to the Quran has never been called into the question. It was his reliability in Hadith. In, no, no, no. Oh, well, after, no, because Hafs is... No, ha, no, because prior to his recitation, he was merely a student. His prominence came... No, 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 it was not. No, no, no. No, it was with regards to his transmission of hadith. His transmission of no, his his transmission of hadith was not that reliable. But his um, what do you call it? Transmission of Quran was par excellence. Like par excellence, as it were. Yeah. It's a different subject. It's a different subject matter. Now. No, no. But the thing is, like, this is why even today we have scholars in the Quran. Because uh, people have specialities. And are, are we assume we? I say we. Is mankind assuming, on the basis of the scholarly, like I guess, uh, research, that have unintentionally mistrans uh, mistransmitted the hadith, or was he like willfully mistransmitted? Uh, no. So the uh, general consensus is that he made mistakes. Yeah, that he well, wasn't. He wasn't good. Not the best person to recite. Well, this is why he's. This is why his field wasn't in. This is why his field wasn't in al al hadith. His field was in in uh, Quran, right? And not. Still doesn't make. No, no, no. The reason confident. being, no. The reason being is like, for example, even today you have you have scholars today that are prominent in not only reciting one qira'ah of the Quran but all ten qira'ahs of the Quran. But when it comes to hadith, they find difficulty in it. No, but the, but and this is the situation with Hafs. But you need to, if either someone is. You, you understand my point, I'm sure, that if, if I'm a typist, for example, and they say, well, she's pretty, you know, she typed the Bible, and yet she got a couple of emails really, like, mapped up on uh, to Amazon, or something like, yeah. unimportant compared to the Quran or Bible, yeah. you would think, or oh, maybe we'll wait for someone who gets it all, whose no. memory is such, his oral memory is no. such, that they can because even Because even with the people of, uh, the, the people of Hadith, the people who are, who are good in transmitting the Hadith. Chain, with all due respect. It, no, but the each. Is only a chain of Jibril, like, no, no, it's not just from Jibril, from Allah to Jibril to Muhammad. That's no, no. And then it's from Muhammad to all the the, the companions that memorize yeah, no, the it. From the companions is, to the, is the chain up to Muhammad. No, it's up to Allah. The Quran, no, no, up to meaning down to. No, Sorry, no, it's down to until, today. No, it's until to today. Until. until today. No, it's not it changed, is. is it? There's only one Quran, surely. No, the, the the chain of narration. What I'm saying is, at the point of Muhammad's um, part in yeah. the chain, yeah. it's then committed by those who just hear Muhammad and write it down, like kind of thing. There's no. No, it's no, all checked. It's all checked. Yeah, 
Exactly. So he's he's the last part of the chain before the Quran becomes a book. And then the readers of the Quran are the next part of the chain because they're going to transmit to their children. How no. Because the Quran is transmitted anyway, orally. No, the the, Cor the Quran is uh, transmitted orally. But no, it's not for. Can't be corrupted. So why are we worrying about transmission of the Quran when it's the Hadith? You see what I mean? No, we worry about both. We worry about both. But uh, look. More reason not to have someone who's a big No, but the thing is, our our religion is preserved in the Quran and the Hadith. So the authentic Hadith is preserved. The, yeah, the please. Ones, yeah, yeah, no, for real. Yeah. The ones that he transmitted erroneously, obviously there must have been faithful uh, transmissions of them floating around. Of what? The Quran or Hadith? No, the Hadith. Right. The ones that have got uh, slightly wrong, there must have been a, a very right one for them to go up oh, that doesn't match, therefore these. Yeah, of course, error. there's a whole science. But where, so if you believe the Quran can't be corrupt, Hadith can, obviously can't be because there's a whole science. No. Because and you do believe that because there are Hassan and there are. No, no, no. So in terms of corruption, what do we mean by corruption? It means. It means. No, it means. It means that what we have today is no longer what we had back then. But that's no, but that's not the case. We still have. While people have made things up, right? Yeah, look, no, but that's the thing. The Sahih tradition is maintained, and that is the authentic. And that is the precision. Right, so that's what I'm saying. So when I say, when I talk, when I talk about preser preservation of corruption. Like very weak. Are weak for a reason, and it's because they've been corrupted. Because surely, not necessarily. Were, no, well, no, no, no. Some of them must have been faithfully transmitted up to a point, and then something went wrong. Not the necessarily. Man has not, something, something not, happened. not necessarily. Not necessarily. Right, right. but there is there is a high chance. Hey. Right. Okay. A medium. A high chance. Excellent. And that's why they're weak, right? And, and therefore, why have anyone who's involved in a chain the following? That was them? the last point, no? no Come on. Was. All right. All right but Jesus is no. Still God. Well, <laughs> you can look. Point. You can believe that. We okay, believe. We believe that. I have to. Alice said, "Stand on the gospel." I don't, I, this is, an, a, this is another point. We don't know nothing. I, I'm not going to. Obviously, like I said, I need to go. But look, you believe that. I always say to the Christians, "Let's go, let us come to common terms. That we worship yeah, only one God." Let's reason, reason together. Let's come to common terms that we worship one God and not associate partners with Him. We both worship one God, but they are different gods. I don't believe we there is any other God. No, but, but this is why we I say, and we God. don't, and we don't associate any partners with Him. We believe that you worship. We believe that you worship Allah. You call Him the Father. Hold on, look, just from my, from our perspective, we believe that you do worship Allah. However, you associate with Him, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. As, as God's beside him. Even though Allah said, speaks about Isa that he didn't say about any, like, me and I'm going to say, this is my wrap-up, as it were, rather Please. than last Yeah, because I'm not going to respond to anything else no, now. that's fine. Okay. I would say that, look, whilst we've been talking about tafsir and transmission, the Bible predates, obviously, you can't not accept this, the Quran, the, the, the book form of the Quran, and Allah references back to his sayings and doings, as it were, as Yahweh. And yet they are, they're found in the Bible to be there are discrepancies. You can obviously say it's corrupted. I'm not getting into anything like that. The point is that if Allah came second, I could say he's not God because my God, Yahweh, has said concrete, non tafsirable statements that Allah gives a, literally a, a diametrically opposed view to. So I can bring those to you whenever you turn up next yeah, time. Well, yeah, when I, when I do. But I don't check it either. But the thing is, is uh, I don't as well. I'm, too, I'm far too busy. I've got a lot of projects going on. Streamyard. No, what? Streamline. Your Streamline. Projects. No, because no, 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 for real, I'm a procrastinator, and if you've got it's not one... so much, it's not so much about procrastination. It's uh, no, 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 the it's fact that overload. all my projects connect. No, they connect. So I'm actually writing a, a whole book about chapter 10, verse 94, just on that verse. So that's one of my projects, but it's actually tying into... Uh, so it references a lot of other projects that I'm also working on. For example, I'm working... Hang on, you just give yourself away a lot of the projects, but that doesn't mean the totality of the projects. There's projects you're working on that have nothing to do with that book. I know it. Exactly. Streamline. I don't mean throw them out. I just no, no, no. Focus on one at a time. Yeah, no. Literally. Sometimes at a but, carousel. Yeah. But, the, but, yeah. This on a Monday, this on a Tuesday. Because you get a, like a fresh... Full-time work makes that very hard. I mean, if, if my job was a researcher, great, but that's not my job. Start, start 
somewhere in your past, Lee, but with friends of research and see if you just says, you know what? I'm in construction. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, completely well, different field. Research by construction is not a good job for you. No, 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 no. What do you call it? Anyway, I don't yeah. know where you're wrapping up to, but I feel like it's wrapped up anyway. Elbow, pad, I no. Don't really, no. Even through nothing. layers of. Nothing. I've been shunned to people. No. All right, thank you but, for your time. I've got an old whole bunch of yeah. as well because it's, seen, it's seen like in a rap video, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. I don't even know where no. I'm looking now. I think he's wandered. I'm actually waiting for my friend because I was meant to go with him. I don't know who oh, there is. Oh, there is. Like, there we are. Ah, oh, so close. No, sorry, I'm looking at the camera. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, God bless this guy. God did say that, just in case it's about so he didn't. So, and, uh, I'm pretty confident that it's now time to wrap up the entire proceedings, but JC will obviously tell me otherwise when he comes back. So, look out for his research and his book. Paperboy probably has got like some contact details and access to. He's got videos of Paperboy as well if you feel like a load of research coming your way. And uh, other than that, one thing at a time, otherwise, everything is. Messy. I'm talking from. Oh, no. Experience. Oh, so much. And yeah, I still don't learn, obviously. But anyway, uh, God bless. Subscribe. Ciao. It's very hot here. Pollen. People. The usual. Latest. Oh. Bye. No worries. Welcome. So we had a conversation with uh, Kay and. Maybe. No problem. We had a conversation with Kay and she asked a couple of questions and I've answered them to, my, to the best of my ability. What we have realized throughout the years speaking to Christians is that questions about Islam are usually on a superficial level because they because and it's not fault and it's not and it's not the fault of the Christians because they are limited to the English translations that they have access to us as Muslims we have access to the Arabic and this is why the Arabic language is very important for every Muslim to, to learn because then you start to learn the deeper layers of your religion. When we speak to Christians, we, we can speak to them on a deeper level, but that is only if we have knowledge of what the Arabic texts say. What I don't want to do is try and say that the Christians have no knowledge or belittle them in any way. I say that Christians lack knowledge because they, A, they have a certain limit into the knowledge. What would you call? I mean, look, that is true. That there are people that don't give cl uh, clear answers, right? It's true. The, to be a da'i is to know your religion. To be a da'i is to know that you have uh, knowledge that you can explain complicated ideas to people who don't know much. This is very important. No, it's a, this is not a dig. No way. But but again, look, this is it's not a dig at any. Christian or any atheist or anything. It's literally because our sources are preserved in the Arabic language for a, for good reason. It's so that we preserve the, what, the the transmission to preserve the knowledge as it was transmitted to us. And we have to we have to uh, bring this. This is why one of the one of the questions that I personally ask um, uh, Christians in particular, because these are all the people I conversate with the most, is do you have access to the Arabic material? Whether it's through education of the Arabic language or if you have a friend that speaks the Arabic language. Because without that, you can't know much. There are many hadith I've, today in the park. I've had a few hadith uh, uh, asked uh, of me where it is asked of me on a superficial level. And, and again, the reason it's being is because they only have the translation of, of Bukhari. They don't, they can't speak to me on what Fath al-Bari says or what uh, Imam al says. About 10 minutes ago, I'm just saying. Yeah. And so this is what we need to know. We need to have this, these, uh, this, this knowledge to be able to explain it to them in a concise manner. So inshallah, that's clear. Have patience with the people of the book. Allah has honored the people of the book in the Quran, given them that title and not just mushrikeen. So be patient with them. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the Christians that they are dearer to us, that they are closer to us. So have patience with them. And if you do see hostility, repay it with kindness. Because at the end of the day, it wasn't the speech of the Muslims so much that brought people to Islam. It was the character of the Muslims. It was the character of Rasulullah This is why he is, uh, his akhlaq is the, is the thing that was praised, not so much his speech. So uh, brothers and sisters, learn your religion. It is an obligation and uh, have patience with the people you speak to 
embody the character of Rasulullah and inshallah the worst of people may become your friends and inshallah your brothers and sisters in Islam. Barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.